Recently, I was in a little bit of a Digimon World nostalgia kick with the upcoming ports of Digimon Next Order to the PC and Switch, and I was thinking back on some Digimon that I really liked, namely Madoki Betamon. And then it got me thinking that Madoki Betamon doesn't actually exist like it does in my memories, in very, very vivid memories that I have of playing Digimon World as a kid. Madoki Betamon had greens, very fluorescent, brightly coloured green skin, and very, very bright and prominent pink mohawk. And I always thought that was a really cool design. He had like a pink mohawk. It was very distinctively different from the original Betamon, who is of course just green and orange. This one being like an almost yellowish green, like a really bright, vibrant, light green, yellowy colour with that pink mohawk. Very different from Madoki Betamon, sorry, regular Betamon, just having the orange and the green. Uh, however, looking back on it, and looking back on screenshots, rather, and cards that have come out for Madoki Betamon over the years, recently, as well as back in the, with the original release of the card game, I find out that Madoki Betamon actually doesn't... Uh, it isn't exactly how I remember him. And these are very vivid memories of him being bright green and with a pink mohawk. Uh, so Madoki Betamon's colours are... Still a bright green, but not quite as bright green body, and then just a bright orange mohawk, which definitely doesn't match up with my memories at all, but I guess I was just misremembering. But then when I research on the internet, I find a lot of other people also have memories of Madoki Betamon having the pink mohawk and a bright green body, so... I'm just wondering where that may have, like, that misconception has, has started, but I honestly think that Madoki Betamon looks much better with the bright pink and bright green rather than just a kind of slightly brighter coloured Betamon. In terms of the colour scheme, it's green and orange, and it's still green and orange. I much rather the bright green and the bright pink, but that's just me. So... This memory and me thinking about how a bunch of people have the Mandela effect or the, the Mondela effect, I think I'm calling it, because it's the D Digimon version of the Mandela effect. Uh, seeing enough, enough people think that there was like a pink Mohawk version, I'm wondering if there are many other uh, not real Digimon. And that got me also thinking about the very, very old... Digimon cheat sites, there were fan sites that existed on GeoCities and Tripod and X Pages and Free Pages back when the Digimon Virtual Pets were first released. And these, of course, had like kind of playground rumors of like you can find Mew under the bus, kind of not real things, but if they traveled enough that they become like almost real, but they don't actually, like nothing actually is there under the truck. So this is more like the likes of. Flaming Teddymon, Skull Shooting Teddymon, Poison Attack, uh, Old Man Mon, and Computer Mon. So, the way that you get these Digimon often follows some extremely, extremely, extremely convoluted and in some parts vague in terms of what timing there is method to get these super rare, super powerful Digimon. For example, I have it. I have one of these uh, written out here. So to to get a to get a flaming Teddymon when your Digimon dies, just as when he dies, uh, it doesn't specify what Digimon you have to have, whether or not you have to have a Teddymon, or if it does, if it's just any Digimon, it just says when he dies. So it's first level of kind of vagueness. You have to press the A button two hundred times, the B button one hundred times, and then the C button twenty five times. Then when the Digimon rehatches, you press A, B, and C at the same time three times, and then you press A and C at the same time, and you should get a Digimon that is half Teddymon and half Merrimon. Now, this is obviously not actually a real Digimon. As far as I can tell, it, it doesn't exist. It's just existing in the grounds of someone, wrote it on a website, 
and then somebody else was building a Digimon website with a cheats page, also put it up, and then it kind of expanded from there. More people were kind of copying these things, but nobody actually got this flaming Teddymon, half Teddymon, half Merrimon, Digimon hybrid. And it's likely because these steps are so convoluted that it is easier to just assume that you have done something wrong in the process, or because it's fairly vague about what the timing is, like how quickly do you have to do these things, how much do you hold them, you have to hold the buttons at the same time, is it like a quick press, or is it a hold, and you have to press it so many times, like maybe I, maybe I didn't do it 200 times, maybe I only did it 190, or maybe I did it 210 times, because after 200 I was kind of just mashing, so... It's, so I can see that in a child in the early 2000s or late 90s, your mind might think, I've messed up. Nobody would lie to me on the internet because that's how I guess you thought, or I guess I thought. So I can kind of see why no one really was out there saying, hey, this doesn't work. I didn't get this to work. Nobody either wanted to try it or they assumed that they did try it, that they just did something wrong. And there were many of these tr cheats with many, many different Digimon. Like, there was a skull shooting Teddymon. There is, of course, Computermon, who I'm honestly thinking is the most realistic one or most reasonable one to actually have happened. And that's because the way it's described is as a computer that can you can feed and it moves around the screen like a real Digimon. So this makes me think that it could just be a glitched computer grave sprite, which was the grave sprite on the English versions, and of course since these cheats all originated on the English side of the internet, it makes me think that it's just the, the death sprite that moves around the screen because it's glitched. And the way to get a lot of these is to insert a tab many, many, many times, and that can obviously cause some glitches and some errors if it doesn't load up properly. I myself have a Digimon version 3 from Japan that seems to have... So I've never tabbed it. I don't really use the tab. I just take the batteries out. But it honestly starts to glitch randomly. And reading up on tab glitches where you just get super old Digimon just randomly, like, it, like for example, on my version 3, it'll be a Dromogimon and then it'll evolve into a 99-year-old Kunemon, who is also like zero pounds or something. So that honestly sounds a bit more like something that's reasonable, because Computermon is just kind of that. I've also had a Grave sprite on my version 3, which is the glitched one, that I can feed and it does sort of like sit around the screen it, it, and it poos. So... I'm honestly just thinking that Computer Mon is just a glitch, so that one might be actually realistic. But the other ones, especially like this Skull Shooting Teddy Mon or Flaming Teddy Mon, or I have no idea what Old Man Mon is. I just remember it being like this super big rumor when I was growing up. I couldn't even find much information about it now, but it definitely was around. Maybe it was on like web pages that are no longer in existence, but it was like this. Like, it was basically just Gigimon. It, it, you can see, like, from my memory, just thinking about it, it was probably just someone played Digimon World and was like, I wonder if I can get Gigimon. I'm going to say that you can. And then just wrote a, a, a hoax cheat about it. And that's just what I think might have happened there. So these are basically a few not real Digimon. There is, of course, the... Lopmon that is green from the Digimon movie poster. I didn't really want to include that, but I think I will anyway, because it does exist, but it also doesn't exist. It exists in the way that it does exist in official media, that being the Digimon movie poster and the cover of the DVD and the VHS and the soundtrack itself. They all have this green Lopmon, but in reality this green Lopmon doesn't actually exist. But it has also existed. It's like, I don't know, Schrodinger's Lotmon. It is both existent and non-existent. In any case, those are some Digimon that I could think of that just don't exist, but exist in my mind, at least, or exist in the minds of many in the case of the pink Mohawk Madoki Betamon. 
So if there are any more that I haven't mentioned, let me know in the comments section below. Like this video if you prefer the pink Mohawk Madoki Betamon. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!